Howdy everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. Bet y'all didn't know that, did you? Anyway, I did a video and the video was on disassembling this. And man, I just put something in my coffee. I thought I drink worse than that. Uh, I did a disassembly video yesterday on this, and I probably ought to pan you down so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, I think what I'm going to do, uh, I've weighed this out. And if I sell the thing whole, and it is missing some parts, so it ain't going to ever be whole unless I spend a lot of work. And that is making a steady rest and the mount that mounts the steady rest for your tool. And, you know, I got to weighing it out. You know, I got to use a piece of steel. I got to use a piece of another piece of steel. I got to use another piece of steel. You know, I got to machine, do a bunch of machining. I got to cut a bunch of welds. You know, it's it's just not feasible. So, got to talking to uh, my buddy Crafter today. And by the way, go check out some of his videos. He's working on a, a Logan lathe right now. Uh, he's got number thirteen, I believe it is. Uh, check him out, man. He does a lot of stuff. He's, 3D printing, uh, lathes, uh, RC cars, and controlled vehicles. Anyway, um, we've come to the conclusion that I want to keep the chuck that came off of Because this chuck is actually one that is used on a um, 109 lathe. It's a 1 inch by 16 threads. And it's a 4 jaw chuck. And I'm telling you, this thing looks really good. It's just set around more than anything. A little wire wheel and uh, uh, steel wool on this. This thing will look like a brand new one. So I want to keep that, because that, that could be a pu uh, future tool. Uh, also, I want to keep the both pulleys. They're a matching set of pulleys and the motor. I want to keep the motor. It's only one-third horsepower. Uh, yes, it's on a wood lathe, but it's a 17.25 motor, or 17 25 motor uh, RPMs. So that motor is pretty can use can be used for just about anything. So I'm gonna keep the two pulleys because I like these pulleys. Uh, you never know when you might need one. And with me, I'd rather have it than to make it. So it's worth more to me sitting here waiting for me to need it than it is to uh, go away. So, the motor and everything, the stepper pulleys, or cone pulleys, or whatever you want to call them, and the four jaw chuck, I'm going to keep. This year, the headstock with the spindle and the lock, without this, I've seen listed for, I think it was $25 and 18 shipping. And this piece, somebody's got one on there for $25. And I can't remember what's shipping. I think it was like $11. I don't remember. I've seen so many numbers, I don't know which is which. But 
it's worth it for me to sell this off in pieces. Now the tailstock is complete. You know, I've got everything for it. So that's uh, backwards. Goes this way. But I'm gonna clean this up, make it nice and pretty, and um, and we're gonna sell that as a one whole piece. So the pole, I'm I'm not going to pay to ship that. So that will probably stick around here. Who knows? It can be used for something. I'll find something to use it for. Uh, so that's what that's what I've decided to do is just go ahead and part it out. Uh, it's just not worth my time. And you know, I'm working on my truck right now, and I need. Uh, rear wheel seals and for both of them it's like 20 bucks so uh, you know I can use the money you know I can sell this uh, the end piece uh, for your ways or pole or whatever you want to call it and this piece I don't know what you would call that if anybody happens to know what I what I suppose what I should be calling it, let me know. Uh, I'll look online and see what I can find on it. But uh, I can sell that separate. Uh, this I haven't decided whether I wanted to sell it separate. I could probably. Uh, set up three different listings one with just the headstock one with just the uh, back piece or plate or cover and list it all together and uh, of course if one of them sells then I'd have to get rid of one of the other posted or postings. Probably should keep it as a match pair. Tail stock, I mean the headstock and the cover all as one. It just needs cleaned up. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that's what we was going to do. So we tore the uh, table saw apart. And it's out on the outside bench. And man, both bearings are in bad shape. I took the bearings out of the motor and one of them has some really rough spots in it. It's so rough that you can't hardly turn it. And the other one was starting to get a little rough. Uh, you could feel some flat spots on the bearings. It was very minute, but it was enough that 
if I'm gonna replace one, I'm gonna replace them both. There ain't no way I'm doing one. That, that'd be like a moron working himself to death. It's like when you do a rear wheel seal on your vehicle. You, I only need one, but I'm doing both. I'm not gonna do this job twice. So, uh, that's my goal. I'm trying to get all the parts to, uh, I'm redoing the whole brake system on my truck from the uh, parking brake cable clear to the back. We're waiting for bearings for the uh, table saw and uh, we're going to go ahead and get all these pieces cleaned up and get them set out here on the bench and start taking some pictures and list them on eBay. So if anybody on YouTube sees this video, uh, today is, what is today? Today's the 17th, November the 17th, 2016. Anybody needs parts for this lathe, let me know. I'm parting it out. So, that's where it's going to be on eBay. So, look for it. I'm going to probably list it as a Craftsman plus the part number. Uh, I'll keep it simple. Tail stock, head stock. And I don't know what you call that. Um, I don't know what we call those. We'll find out. So. I'm going to go in here and upload this. So you guys can see what I'm doing today. I'm about wore out. I know that. Uh, I've done pulled the rear, rear part on my truck. And I tell you, my wheels and tires are not light. I mean, they stand this freaking tall on me, like 37 inches tall. And they're god awful heavy. I'm getting too old for these, these toys. But this toy is a work toy. This truck, this truck will pull this shop with no problem. It's got 12 leaves in the springs, it's a F350. Uh, it's pretty badass. Uh, it's got a brand new motor in it. I've just about replaced everything in that truck. Uh, everything under the hood's been replaced. And I mean everything. Even a new breaker box. Um, so, you know, this truck's worth my time. Because I've got a lot of time in it, and turning back now would be futile. <laughs> uh, if we was in Star Trek. Anyway, you guys have a good one, man. Later.